Hey guys and welcome back to Battle for an Update and some more Star Wars gaming news. Today we've got quite a lot of stuff to talk about both in regards to Battlefront 2, more rumors as well as EA's earnings call and the future of Star Wars games and some more details that I figured you guys would think was interesting. So let's dive straight into it. Starting off, we have EA's earnings call from earlier this week that unfortunately didn't really contain any actual news or announcements in regards to Star Wars games. But what they did say this was that EA has made over $3 billion from its slate of Star Wars titles and that they aren't planning to slow down development for how many games they will make even if the license is no longer exclusive to them. CEO Andrew Wilson said, I don't think you should imagine that the fact that some other people will build some Star Wars games is going to change our commitment to that IP or our ability to build the appropriate number of games. We're excited by what we'll be able to do in the future, but you shouldn't read this as necessarily us building fewer titles. And they also added that EA will continue to invest into the franchises they've already created, as well as some new experiences across platforms for the future. So what I read from this is basically a Fallen Order sequel and that they're working on something else that is probably a brand new Star Wars game. This could of course also refer to Battlefront as that is a franchise that they have invested a lot into and it might as well continue but I think they're mainly referring to Fallen Order here so as of right now there is unfortunately still not any tangible news in regards to Battlefront 3 or the future of Battlefront, I just want to make that very clear. Moving on, I also wanted to say that the Star Wars Battlefront 2015 video game soundtrack is now available on Spotify. You search up Gordy Hab, who is amazing and created all the music for Star Wars Battlefront 1, and you will find the full playlist there. And the soundtrack for Star Wars Battlefront 2 is actually releasing tomorrow on February 5th, so depending on when you're watching this video, it might already be out. You can actually find music from Star Wars Squadrons and Fallen Order uh, on his Spotify page as well. So I think it's pretty chill to listen to that in the background sometimes when you might not have time to actually play the games. Moving on to some more interesting stuff. Uh, Jason Schreier, uh, who as you might know is a very credible news source in the gaming industry, did now confirm that Aspire Media is actually the studio handling the KOTOR remake. So I would say at this point it's pretty much confirmed that some type of KOTOR remake or game is in the works. It is a little bit unclear what exactly it is, but there is also another leak out here on the same subreddit saying that the Knights of the Old Republic games are coming to Nintendo Switch and other consoles and it's going to be an upscaled version of the mobile ports. It's going to be a digital only released Q3 in 2021 and will be $30 for both games. And it's not going to be the only classic Star Wars game to get a port this year. So this is a little bit unclear if Aspire are working on some type of completely brand new KOTOR game or if they're just working on upscaling uh, the mobile ports because that's something that I mentioned earlier Aspire Media have actually been porting and scaling up some old Star Wars games before so that's something they are very experienced with. So the KOTOR game is still, in my opinion, a little bit unclear if they're just doing a remake, or they're making a KOTOR 3, or are they just upscaling the classic games to release on new platforms? I don't know for sure, but something is in the works with KOTOR that is for certain. Moving on to some other Star Wars gaming news, we actually have Star Wars Empire at War. This is not really a big deal, but I still thought it was quite interesting because a Star Wars Empire at War fan actually emailed an executive at Petroglyph, the creators of Empire at War, a couple of months ago. And at that point, he pretty much said that, no, we haven't had any contact with Disney or EA, so it's probably not happening. But he did then email him again after the whole announcement of Lucasfilm Games and the fact that EA won't have the exclusive license anymore and he now instead responded with there's always a possibility and we are continuing to talk to the people responsible to see if it's something we might be able to get involved in which is obviously way more promising as it actually leans towards them at least having some contact with Disney as compared to previously when they didn't even get a response. I actually personally haven't played Empire at War but I know there's a lot of fans of the game and I do like RTS games so it's probably something I should give a go because I played around the same time Battle for Middle earth instead uh, so I, i'm sure i would enjoy empire at war as well but nevertheless i thought i'd bring this up as it gives you a little bit of hope of a continuation or remaster of empire at war lastly we have another leak slash rumor post from the same person who actually talked about the kotor remake so again it doesn't really have to be anything legit about this but i wanted to 
bring it up nevertheless and as always just let, let, let's discuss it. And what they say here is that EA is working on a small scale Star Wars game that will release later this year and that it has been in the works for little over two years. It's a much smaller project around the same size as Squadrons and it's a shooter. He's not sure if it's a third person or a first person shooter just that it involves gunplay and it will release Q4 2021 for all major platforms excluding the Switch and that it is being developed on Unreal Engine 4. It sounds pretty good, but I'm not sure if I believe a game has been in the works for two years and been completely secret, especially with like all of these actual legit sources within the gaming industry that seem to figure out this kind of stuff at least a year or two before they're out. It could very well, well be legit and it all could also be where the um, Inferno Squad actors have been filming stuff for. But again, this is an anonymous person posting this out on Reddit, so they're doesn't really have to be any credibility around this at all. And even if this happens to be true, I at least don't think it's like a Battlefront game. It could be like a smaller Republic Commando game or just something brand new. Hard to say, but I hope it's gonna be something that's still bigger than Squadrons, at least in terms of popularity and longevity, as Squadrons is very niche and it is popular for everyone who likes flying, but it was nowhere near as popular as Battlefront was and still is. But that's really all the details I had for you today. Thank you very much for watching and as always, may the force be with you.